Hey guys, Debbie from Resin Hut. So today I'm going to do something completely different. I went to my local supplier and I just bought a small 6kg kit of the white marble AC730 and the silver grey granite. I've been dying to use it. I've only used it once. Now what I've learned from it, the AC100 would take 140 to fill this this mold it doesn't come anywhere near with the AC 730 because of its thicker consistency so I have upped it to 200 but I've got a second batch over there in case it's not enough and I need to obviously make some more I'm going to mix it up I'm going to do it from start to finish guys I'm going to show you the consistency the difference between that to the AC 100 and there is a vast vast difference I was really caught off guard when I used it for the first time, what was it, about a week ago now. Um, I just, I don't know why, I just, I, logic, logics tell me that if it's a one to five, it's obviously going to be thicker, but when you actually do it for the first time, it does sort of shock you a bit. So guys, if you are planning on working with the AC730, just remember that it's going to be twice as thick. I definitely found the AC730 is definitely more of a cement-like mixing sort of thickness as opposed to the AC100. So guys, I'm not going to waffle on, or oh, I must show you what I have done. I've been wanting to do this. I am going to do this on a video on this because a lot of people um, on the Jesmonite website have been showing people putting the Jesmonite with the epoxy resin because most of us have worked with epoxy resin and have now changed over to jasmineite but we, we want to put the two together now this is the first time i've done this i've never used the jasmineites and epoxy resin together i have on the smaller scale but not on this size scale so all i did was i did the simple jasmineite mold obviously took it out the mold i did try and break it in half but unfortunately decided not to do that so it's sort of broken a quarter and three quarters Bit disappointed because I got a few little air bubbles in there and I did actually use my air compressor for this so I was quite taken back when I did come across a few air bubbles it's really scratchy and dirty at the moment because I haven't sanded it guys you know me I hate sanding so I will eventually get around to doing it. it's been sitting in my sanding basket for like I said a couple of weeks now um, so yeah so basically I did this I poured the resin in, or I put the flowers in poured the resin in and then Voila, 24 hours later, it comes out like this. So I was, considering I'd not done this size scale before, I was actually quite happy. I like the blue flowers, so that's hence the reason why I did the blue jasmineite. But I will do a tutorial on this to show you how I've done it, because I've finally worked out how to stop the video and then link a second video. So guys, hey, my technology skills are getting there. So yeah, so yeah, I was I was happy with that. And I I quite like it. Obviously, it's it's nowhere near selling, selling um condition yet. But they say you got to practice. Anyway, guys, without further ado, I'm going to pause you guys. I'm going to mix it. I will show you the consistency difference because if you've watched the AC100 um, videos, you'll see when I'm pouring just how thin that is compared to this. So guys, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys. So I'm back. So I've picked this up. As you can hear, it's very scratchy. <laughs> I don't know really if that's the right word to use. Um, but that's the consistency with the AC730. It's not fluid like the AC100. It's quite, well, clumps. It forms in clumps. And to be honest, I don't think this is even going to be enough for that. But we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. I'm hoping it is because, I mean... It's still 40 grams. It's 40 or something. No, 60 more grams, isn't it? Yeah, because the other one's 140. So let's give it a go and see. I'm going to have to pour it this way, guys, because I'm left-handed and I just need to scoop this out. Um, you'll see it doesn't really pour. It doesn't really pour like the AC100 does it. It literally drops in just exactly like cement. That's the only way I can explain it. Um, so let's just do this first and you do have to guide it in so let's see uh, 
actually, I might have actually, and you'll see, I'll bring it in, guys, and then you can actually, oops, sorry, excuse me, oh, dear. You actually see, it does, it does go out, it does become smooth. I think it's actually used, I'd say I've got about, I'd say about 20, maybe 20 grams less over, or 20 grams over, I should say. So next time I will most probably do about 180 for this as opposed to like I said the 140 for the AC100 because um, I definitely think that's full enough I don't think I need to add any more to that so guys I'm going to leave you there I'm going to just lift you back up again so you don't get too dizzy I'm going to leave you there guys I'm going to carry on doing this and getting the bubbles out um, because obviously it being a thicker consistency you do need to tap and vibrate the mold a lot more than I, I just I don't know maybe that's just me but I just thought you've got to do this a lot more than you would for the AC100 because it's thicker and you need to get these air pockets out so but I think that's definitely filled that mold so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another one and then um, most probably mix up that one and add it to it because it takes longer to, to go off this will basically take it's roughly I've been told about three hours before it's completely set um, but I will come back once it's set it will only be a sec for you guys and I will then put the acid etching onto that to show you just how the acid etching actually brings up the, the the sort of the granity slate type look to it that you'll see in I think quite a few coasters I've seen really beautiful absolutely beautiful it's one of my, definitely one of my favorites and I think it's actually a favorite with a lot of people so guys I won't carry on I'll be back in a sec for you um, but for me it'll be about three hours and then we'll go from there I'll see you in a sec okay guys so I'm back I did do four of the coasters I didn't get back to it last night because it was getting quite late in the evening I have taken one out so far um, when you do originally take it out it does have quite a smooth feel to it um, which I was surprised about when you put the acid etching on it actually goes quite almost like a rough texture to it so I'm just going to take out the other three because as I said I made I made up some more of it I am getting obviously a few little pinprick holes there but you know you still you're still learning you can actually see the difference in the two I haven't actually done any acid etching on it but this one I took out quite early so I think that could have something to do with it um, I think maybe it dries and maybe the harder bits fall down to the bottom so let's just get this one out and see if it's similar yeah it's the same as well it's got quite a color to it already and let's get this last one out I think I should have maybe left that one in overnight like these three because there's definitely a difference between the three of them so what I've done let's put these away actually let's put these over there and I've also had a little bit left over so I did the little unicorn uh, this was sort of made up of little bits at a time because as you know, I'm still learning with the 730 And I think this one's mostly going to be full of holes, but it was just the leftovers and I didn't want it to go to waste So only thing I don't like about these molds they just seem to be really hard to get it over the head Yeah, and as, as suspected it's, it's quite a nice big hole there, but It is what it is I won't even acid edge that that was just more of an experiment to see how the 730 would actually go in this mold as opposed to the AC100. So what I've done, guys, I'll put these in front like this. I've just put a little bit of the acid edge into this. Obviously, they do advise you to wear gloves because it is a form of acid. And what they say that you need to do, even though it almost looks like it's not taking, is to just 
put the acid edge on. I'm not going to do the bottom today. I'm just going to do the sides. And you're supposed to leave it on for four minutes, they tell you. Just to let the acid edge take hold of the product. So let's get cracking. I haven't got a pause or fast forward, guys. So I'll try and do this as quickly as humanly possible. And um, what I will do while it's while the four minutes is waiting to come up. I will pause the video and then come back. So guys, I've already done those two and just show you quickly how quickly that, it doesn't take long for this acid etch to bring out the natural stone underneath. So guys, I'm going to finish doing these two and I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay guys, I am back. So what I've done is three coats of the acid etch on this so from my understanding you need to put on a coat onto each coaster you wait four minutes i actually rinse them off under the tap to make sure it neutralizes the acid etch i dry them out um, it doesn't take long to dry and then i put a second coat on and then i repeated that for a third time so as you will see now the difference between what it looked like and what it is now it's just such a pity because the camera never see, never tends to pick up the actual beautiful it's got like a beautiful like a almost looks like little bits of diamonds in that's the only way i can explain it it's got like a lovely lovely shine to it um it is rough to the to the touch um it's not smooth like the ac100 um and this is still a little bit damp it's still just drying out um but yeah i mean they they I can definitely notice the difference um, with the one that I actually took out early. So I don't know why. Um, maybe I did take it out too early from the mold. I should have left it overnight. But all in all, that's pretty much them done. Obviously, I will I will need to do a light sanding under this. And once I've done the sanding, I'll then acid etch the bottom as well. Um, I generally put um, some type of a protection over this so if someone does use them as coasters it doesn't scratch their furniture but because it's come out so much nicer then I just found the bottoms tend to come out nicer than than the AC100 I don't find as many sort of bubbles coming to the surface on the AC730 but that's just my experience guys but I mean you can see the difference to what it did look like to what it does look like now on massive difference and um, I'll show you the two in comparison um, obviously you can see where a little bit's come out where obviously it's run over um, but massive difference I mean this is pretty much what the coaster looked like before I started and that's the end so yeah all in all I'm, I'm happy with these just gonna obviously wait for them to dry out a little bit more um, and then I'll do a little sand just on the bottom and just around the edges because where it's sort of come over and I've picked off the bits it's a bit of a, bit of a sharp edge there so a little sanding on the bottom and on the sides and then that's the coast is done anyway guys that's all for the video for today i hope you guys found this useful and and help you on your journey like it has myself um, if you do guys give us a thumbs up and if you do want to see more videos like this um, please hit the subscribe button and join our little family as I said, I am going to be doing this in my next video, um, just showing you how to incorporate the jasmineite with the epoxy resin, because as I said, a lot of people have been asking questions, not recently, but I think a couple of weeks ago, I saw quite a few people asking people how to join the epoxy resin and the jasmineite together. Hopefully by then I'll show you this. <laughs> <laughs> I would have actually gone down to the garage and actually done some sanding and I could show you the finished products of this. Um, but otherwise, guys, I'll leave it there. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to keep my videos shorter um, so you don't sit through hours and hours of me chatting away. 
But otherwise, guys, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.